now, they don't have the money to because the pressure is high now. But that time, if you have spent 50k now, that time to have done the training now, now you'll be looking for money maybe to do license, mm -hmm. driving license, right? Me, I've done all that, move on, I don't have issues, I have, I have traveled far from that side. So remember, if you are not trained, please, if you have desire to do it, take your time, save your money, go to the right channel, pay for the course, get trained, get certified, get licensed. Then you can go to work up to company. Because when you do it with the way, eh? Don't even go to company and say you want to apply for a job, you'll be, you'll be afraid. Because the moment they ask you one or two, you say, hello, I know, or that you say, I just, I, you want that and you always want to tell them what happened to you, why you did not do the right thing. And no, Amanda, I'm not speaking. This thing also to is something that happened with him, it's our conscience to get lost. Am I right? Yes. Can we move on? Yes. The other one says what? Can somebody read that for us? <laughs> Use the right equipment for the right job. Please. As we are now, some people will still want to use fork to eat rice. Some want to use fork to drink tea. Don't do that. Instead of you to use 14, you say eh, 15 can work now. You carry 15. At the end of the day, 15 might not work. You want to start putting something to damage the head of that nose. You are destroying that nose. And when it gets damaged, in fact, hitting that nose, you are already destroying the, the trail. The, the, the pot of that particular boat inside, you are hitting it and you might end up cracking it. The thread. Yeah, the thread. So, when it is 14, 14 boats, please take your time, look for 14 boats and do what? Do the job. Don't say, let me use 13. Then, uh, if I cost music, uh, it will. Mm -hmm. Touch it. No. Something you're supposed to use screwdriver, don't use plier. One. The, one of the, the, let me tell you the consequences. One, you end up wasting your time here. Where is that time to go and look for the right tool, Abby? Yeah. Where, where is that time to look for the right route, true, uh, 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 tool? Where you now want to do the job? In fact, your mind will be so relaxed. The moment you turn like this, it will answer you. But you are wasting your time going to look for the putting zinc, nothing. At the end of the day, what will happen is that you will end up causing more damage. That something is supposed to just go straight. You end up coming like this, coming like this, coming like this. You end up damaging that thing. You end up spending thousands of naira that you don't budget for. So please, at some point, we have to be very, very patient in terms of using this equipment. We have to be very, very patient. Patience to the machine, patience to yourself. Normally, when you kick up the machine, the machine is supposed to run for three to five minutes so that you can circulate. Remember, some people try to chant, boom, 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 boom. Boom, you're off. The one machine will answer you. But these things are damaging some things that you don't know in disguise. In time to come in, it's not this machine, this machine says that's not the original. You start, you start, you start saying all kinds of things, but you are the bad user of the equipment. Is that clear? Yeah. So please use the right equipment for the right job. Another one says, accept the risk before. Approaching your work, assess the risk. Now, what are the risks? You want to drive forklift. You know that if you are lifting high to a certain height, there's a line. Maybe you are, you are not supposed to park close to um, a door where people are passing. When you pass, you need to drop your fork. You won't drop your fork. It is very, very long. Assess the risk. If there's oil on the floor, please ensure that you clean. Just make sure that you have a very safe uh, environment to work, free of hazards. Free of when you are working, you will not sleep and fall. Do you understand me? When you are working in an environment, you know that okay, the tide is slippery. You have to look for a sleeper that will be dripping. It is part of it. Because the moment you sleep, this one is going down. It's ignorance that will cause it. Are we together? Yeah. The other one says, never wear loose clothing or sleepy footwear. That takes us back to what PPE. Never we are bad at <laughs> yes to machines because there are some some of us are working in the factory side where some 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 machines are rolling they can just pick up and even drive it to some a, a lot of accidents that happen ignorance never we are 
loose clothes. Me, anytime I'm going to work, I always like to wear polo and jean. I always like to look smart. Smart. I don't want anything to say that is forcing it or hair. I don't like it. It's so much inconvenient for me. I don't even like to sweat. I don't like anything that will stress me. I always like to be always on my can and however I always like to be smart. It is only when it's time for let's say occasion. You you, you dress for occasion, you understand? But when it comes to this particular kind of work we are, this environment we are, please ensure that you wear what um you never wear loose clothing or slippery footwear. I just mentioned, I just talked about it now. When I talk about slippery um, clothes, yeah? Then the last one. The last one says, um, the other one says, do not indulge in horse play while at work. Can somebody explain that? Do not indulge in horse play. Rebecca, let's go now. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, can somebody explain that to us? Horse play, foul play, dog play. Okay, supervisor is not around. And the show is that skill and this one, man. Don't worry, today now, that is not our fault. Let's do it now. Boom! The moment you want to try it, you are off. You are off the ground. Has it yet at your call? That thing I'm preparing your boss to see. In fact, the whole company will see that. You have caused it. Yes. Do you understand? Don't you see that thing is a spirit. Devil, that devil will come to me, come and meet you. I'm fine. <laughs> Which one now? I will tell you, are you alright? Ah, <laughs> is it my machine? It's not my machine. If anything happens now, so just try to do what? Avoid us play. Don't allow people to influence you. Don't allow that inner spirit to influence you. Let me tell you, the moment that inner spirit or your friends influence you, it is that same caution that will come. Shady, I was telling you not to do that thing. <laughs> <laughs> now you have got to do it now. Yeah, yes, now. Yeah, yeah. Now you don't play now. <laughs> if you have taken a go go or anything, that day everything will just clear like this. Before you know it, the phone has got into your supervisor. Ah! And if you have a supervisor that does not like you at all, problem. <laughs> and the, his own query is that, do, do, let this guy, let him go, let my brother come, or let somebody come. You understand? If you. If you not have a good record, in fact, if you have a good record, you don't want to do a hospital in there. You won't want to try it. If not, in case not get to HR, and such means the punishment will come with either suspension or termination of appointment. You know what it means to, for someone to get terminated. You understand all these things. The other one says, well, practice good housekeeping. You should do what? I believe we all know what housekeeping is. Can somebody give us? First, can you do one or two pictures before we go? Let's not picture here. Yeah. Can somebody tell me what good housekeeping is? Yeah, let me know. Okay, so I don't think it's right. Yeah, right. Yes, yes. I want to show Okay, uh, let me say I picked up certain tools from the toolbox. I found yes. I found yeah. it. Really? Like, you use, um, let's ask me now, we are all done with our cup that our team are supposed to return the back to the normal place and at the end of the day, we just have our empty out. That is not a good housekeeping. So, we should always have that habit of ensuring we come as a team, collectively, then we finish. If uh, Mr. Joel has gone and he's probably faced to tidy up and you think it's not something that will cost you, we should be our brother's keeper in terms of the job. Do you understand? All of us should try as much as possible to do our best to ensure that we have a proper and safe environment for us to work another day. Imagine you are running shift. You are running shift. If one for it has two people working on money and night shift, this person will run money this week. Next week, this person will run another shift. Uh, uh, this person will run night. So, when such thing is going on, whenever you are going off, you should ensure that you are able to prepare that machine ready for that person to come and kick start and start to work. Because one, let me tell you, this is how company system work. Company is that my time is 8 o'clock, and from that 8 o'clock, you are supposed to be loading the truck that will go to Kano, uh, right? Yeah. Any delay in logistics is money. Maybe the trailer that has come, they have, they have paid for that trailer. 
and the tailor has calculated how many hours it will take you from here to Kano. And the person that is supposed to have done, uh, be there to uh, uh, prepare, uh, to load the truck came late. And it's late, he didn't do what he needed to do. How he didn't carry out the daily check around his machine breakdown, or something, maybe just something that he failed to do, or maybe battery timing or whatever that's supposed to check. At the end of the day, what, what happened? There's going to be delay. And company doesn't want to get that there's delay. You see the white man just come down. Chinedu, what is the problem? Why you never start the machine? Why are this thing happening? The customer come, 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 tired, and the new people are not free. What is it? I don't like this kind of thing. Because if you have done, he knows that there is a process. If the process is being followed, there's not going to be what? Delay. Do you understand me? So let's try as much as possible to ensure that we have proper what? Or good housekeeping. What's the last one here? Again, they finish it on the final task. We should always do what we have all the is. Is that clear? So, I want to believe all of us have our safety attire with us. If not, the company will have, at least they are supposed to have standard. If they don't want, I, will, I can ask them to, I can design. I can recommend to design a nice one for you guys. So that when you come and say, when you are walking, you have good ways. We want to take pictures, you look corporate. Because you, everybody here is unique. You are, you are, you are let's say, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are like, you are a mentor to people. People are looking at you, looking up to you. You understand? So, coming across me, coming across this class, you have to be what? Professional in terms of dealing with heavy equipment. So, do we have our PPE? Our operators? Yes. Does so the company yes. have PPE for you guys? Yes. Helmet? Yes, there's PPE for you. Yes, there's PPE for you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. I want to I want to know our minds. Uh, Mr. Mr. Alec to go back. I want to know everybody's mind regarding this training. Yeah? I want to at least I want to get your review now. I want to know how far from the start of the class to this very point. I want to know how the class has been in our resource. Yes. Please can you cover it? Yeah. Yes. So I like it's very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Yeah. So if we're to raise, if it's um, yeah, over, if it's five, yeah, so over so I'm saying four point five over five. Okay. 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 Four point five over five. Or if it's ten, yes. and let me say nine point nine point five. All right. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you. Yes. Another person. And the learning that has been that been great so far, which yeah. is, I think more from its perspective. All right. So finish the training. Thank you, Mama. What do you have to say? It's a very exclusive lecture, and you really then the exposure is very explicit as anybody can understand what you're doing. All right. Thank That's you. Exactly. Yes. Mm. Yes. Now <laughs> say something, guys. <laughs> Don't be shy. It's very informative. Okay. Okay. Yes. The instructor has done well in carrying everybody along. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. There is a very big shift in knowledge. Okay. Yeah. Probably. Positive or negative? Positive. <laughs> okay. Thank you for the safety aspect you can back on us. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes. Because I'm really there yeah, writing. You know something you said. All right. I guess I have a little knowledge now. More. More. All right. It's been explored. All right. Thank you. Boss. We have, we have learned more. All right. Okay. As an operator, we learn a lot. All right, what about you? I've learned a lot as well. All right, thank you for the training. All right, all right. So let's go for break. For now, let's go for break. 
I'll be back uh, in another time to have an, in another interesting class while we for our practical. Thank you all for your time. Thank you. Please go and let us go. Please go and let us go. Please go and let us go.